crispy, golden, beautifully spiced chicken. Oh, this one is such a joy. This is my version of AM Goreng. Mm, yeah. So good. Okay friends, if you are a fan of fried chicken, and you know I am, <laughs> you need to try this version which is hugely popular in Indonesia and Malaysia. And the thing that makes it so special is this beautifully spiced marinade that we're gonna make first up. So what you wanna do is get yourself uh, some fennel seeds. We've got a few dried spices here. I wanna toast them first because that will release all their amazing aromas and flavors. So fennel seeds into a pan some cumin seeds, and some coriander seeds. Now you just wanna keep these guys moving around in the pan. I don't want them to burn, I just want them to heat up and start smelling amazing. So once those spices start to really perfume the air, that's when you know you're good to go. Uh, I wanna pop those into my mortar, and just grind that to a really fine powder. So this is the kind of texture that you want. And oh my goodness, those spices smell so good already. Just pop those into a bowl for later. And now onto the rest of the spice paste. So I wanna start off with some shallots. These are the red Asian shallots. You could also use French eschalots if they're easier to find in your area. And some garlic, some ginger, and now some galangal. So that's this guy here, that's peeled and like roughly chopped. This is what your galangal looks like. Um, it's got like a, a pink sort of papery skin. It sort of looks like ginger, but it's not. It has like a much more of a, almost like a pine wood kind of citrusy smell than ginger does. So look, if you can't get a hold of this one, just leave it out. If you can, it really is worth adding though. And then one more beautiful aromatic here. I want some lemongrass. Just wanna give that a bit of a bruise. And then the first few layers are always a bit tough, so I like to take those out. And then finally slice. And then a really good pinch of salt here. And now pound that to a rough paste. Okay, so this is currently smelling amazing, um, and this is also what it should look like. Just like a rough paste is fine. Now, grab a hold of your chicken. I'm using some bone-in thigh and drumsticks because you know me, I am a legs and thighs kind of girl. Uh, you could use whatever pieces that you like. Just put that paste on top. Now, throw over that spice mix you made earlier. And I want some turmeric here as well. This is gonna give us a really lovely golden color on our chicken and give that a really good mix. Okay, so if you are really organized, which I generally am not, but if you are, you could leave that chicken to marinate overnight. That would be really extra special, but I'm just gonna keep going here. Uh, what I do wanna do before I progress any further on that chicken is let's chit chat about our oil setup. So um, I'm gonna use a wok and what I find when you're cooking or frying things at home is that it, when you get the um, meat falling to the bottom or the chicken falling to the bottom of the pan, you get these like really brown hot spots and uneven cooking. So what you can do is use a really small um, round cake rack um, and pop that into your oil and that will keep the chicken from hitting the bottom of the pan. So that's optional. Look, if you don't have it, just keep your chicken turning, but it's a really good way to get even color. Now back to the chicken. I wanna do this at the last minute because I want the batter. The batter will start to get really thick the longer it sits. Um, that's okay, just add a, a little bit of water if it starts to look really thick, but um, I just like to do it before I start frying. Now make sure your oil is hot first of all. Grab a wooden spoon, pop that in, and I want some nice, Furious little bubbles here. Okay, that's looking good. Now let's get onto the chicken. So I want an egg. And some corn flour or cornstarch if you're in the US. And just give that a really good mix. And the key here is that it's a little rough and ready, which is what I want, because you'll see when I get this mixed up, we've got lots of like little crackly bits all over the chicken. So just mix as much as you can. So if you have a look here, you can see lots of little lumpy bits of batter. That's gonna crisp up and be all like crispy. 
<laughs> and golden and delicious. So I want it kind of to look rough and ready here. So now we get to do the part that I love the most. I literally live for this part where we get to fry the chicken. Nice, all right, let's get a piece in there. I wanna see it bubbling away. Now you wanna do this in batches and the reason you do that is, the reason why everyone tells you to do things in batches is because if you get too much stuff in your hot oil, your oil does no, is no longer hot. <laughs> the temperature drops, which means you're not getting that really nice crispiness happening. So that's the whole reason for the batch cooking thing. Now, get these guys, just so kind of leave them for a couple of minutes and then I want you to keep turning them every so often for about 10, 15 minutes until they're beautifully golden and cooked through. All right, guys, let's take a look at this amazing thing that's happening in our wok right now. Look at that chicken. I mean, oh, the crispy crust, all that stuff around the outside is just turned into the most wondrous thing ever. Okay, let's get these guys out. Now you definitely want to hit that chicken with a little bit of extra salt as well. And there you go, my version of AM Goreng, beautifully spiced crispy chicken. Let's just make sure we've done a good job here. fried chicken just really is such a joy. This one in particular because you've got all those beautiful aromatics plus the spices plus that like crispy texture. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So good. Yum.